Just baby steps. First identifying the letters, then identifying the sounds, and then kind of putting the sounds together piece by piece to be able to read the book. And you're getting a lot better. I've already seen a lot of improvement. Okay, we're headed to karate right now. Then I'm gonna go to the store and we're gonna get some supplies for making some awesome videos. All right, so there was no karate today, we found out. And so James is with us. We're gonna go shopping and we're gonna get some supplies for making the rest of our Harry Potter decorations for pins and things. I'm excited. So I've been working on schoolwork with the kiddos today. Huh, we've been doing some reading homeschool. We're reading a book called The Eye Book right now. So James has been reading this book and he's kind of been uh, having a hard time really like focusing and I think that a lot of the things is that he's trying to learn how to say the sounds that different letters make and he forgets a lot of times. Like we were struggling a lot with the letter E and what sound the letter E makes, right? He kept saying I, eh, right? But it was E. Eh. So trying to remember the, the difference between I and E. Eh. And so what did I tell you to think of every time you see the letter E? Elephant. 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 And that would help him remember that E says E. Eh. And ever since that, he's been doing really, really good. And when you see the letter Y, what do you think of when you see the letter Y? Yo-yo or yellow. Yo-yo or yellow. Help him remember Y says Y. Yeah. Because he kept wanting to say why, says w. If that makes sense. He was taking a letter and thinking what sound it logically would make if it were to make a sound. That's why he was saying w with y. Also, w. He kept wanting to say d or m mm for w. What sound does w make? I can see Corbin making the sound with his face. <laughs> Do you remember walrus? W. Walrus. W. So W says W for walrus. So I've been trying to help him, like there's just maybe five or six words in the alphabet that he really struggles with remembering what sounds they make. So I'm helping, trying to help him remember like words of animals or things that can help him remember the sounds that they make. What I had him do last night was I had him read the entire book, but instead of reading the words, I just had him say the letters. So, as he was reading the book, it was just T-H-E-Y-L-O-O-K-D-O-W-N. So he was just identifying the letters, just getting practice identifying the letters, because even still, sometimes with his uppercase or lowercase, he struggles. And then today, we were practicing making the sounds of the letters. And that's where we were giving animals like elephant or walrus to help him remember. And when that happened, when Michael was like, okay, I need you to just say the letters, I thought back to when I was in elementary school taking a band class, learning to play the clarinet for the first time. And I never did my homework and I was in class, didn't know any of the notes and the teacher was like, okay, you sit over there and you write every single note out in this on this song. So like I had to sit there and write every single note Corbin, get off. because I didn't know the letter or Corbin. I didn't know the notes, what they were. And so it just reminded me of that because then after that I was really good at it. But it's just like finding and deciding what the problem is, trying to decipher where the problem is originating from, mm -hmm. and then from there, you know, taking a step back and saying, okay, if you're having a hard time reading, then you need to pretty much, you really need to find out what the letters are. And then you need to work on the letter sounds and like just deciding. Putting them together. Yeah, putting them together and, and yeah. working from there. Yeah, so it was actually pretty cool because as I was sitting with him, the third time around, I was having him make the letter sounds again, correcting the mistakes, and he was starting to, actually put the words together on his own. He was seeing the word fork and he would sound it out ah, erk. And then he, wait, he thought like half a second, wait a minute, that says fork. Like, because he's getting more fluent at sounding them out, he's getting better at actually reading the words too. So it's been a really good practice doing just baby steps. First identifying the letters, then identifying the sounds, and then kind of putting the sounds together piece by piece 
to be able to read the book. And you're getting a lot better. I've already seen a lot of improvement. So let's keep practicing, okay, dude? Okay. Anyway, that's what we've been doing for homeschool today. And it's been really, really good times. Good, good homeschool time together, huh? Learning how to read books. My eyes. Mm -hmm. My eyes. Yeah. His eyes, his eyes. His eyes, his eyes. Yeah. It's pretty nice having Corbin help you out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we gotta get dinner made and get these kiddos to bed. Mom, look at this! Get out of the box! watch me! This is so fun! And watch me! Get out of the box! Guys, let's get these things put away. Come on. Becca's been working on a Harry Potter decoration project and <laughs> she accidentally painted her wooden floor red. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna clean it up. Mm. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> How did you, what made you think to look underneath before you finished the entire thing? I went to tug it a little bit and it stuck. And then you were like, wait, and then. Can you imagine if we did the whole thing? Oh. <laughs> that funny. We'd have red bricks all over our dining room you know floor. What, no, I've, I've found that this kind of paint comes off. That's yeah, fine. no, I think it will. Especially because it's still pretty wet. No, and it normally will come off even if it dries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just had to show you guys because I thought that was pretty funny. He was reading me a book and he started laughing hysterically. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually pretty cool. It, it reminds me of back in the olden days, Becca, from when we first got married. Aww. We used to read books a lot. When we first got married, mm -hmm. we would stay up hours till three or four o'clock in the morning, not watching shows or movies, but reading books together. Well, we didn't have shows or movies. We didn't have enough money for Netflix, and we didn't have a TV, and we didn't have, all we had was like a computer, but I Slow mean, internet. Super slow internet. So we would read books, and plus, I had a whole slew of books that I really loved that I wanted to read with her, and so I read them to her. And this is actually a book too that I read from when I was a kid and I've never read to Rebecca. It's called A Return to Christmas by Chris Hammerdinger. Hammerdinger? Hammerdinger. Oh, wow. Anyway, so I said, hey, you know what? While you're working for the next four hours on this project, why don't I read a book to you? That way we can do it together or whatever. And so anyway, it's been really fun. Wait, can I show him the book? It's not quite done yet. Oh yeah, Ryan, let's get an update on your book. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. The paint job's looking pretty good. Yeah, right now I'm doing the uh, back side of it. I haven't done this part yet, but I it looks like this before I do it and then I age it. Let's see the other side. Yeah, you can see it's a lot more darker. And more then also better. I use um, some stuff to take off the paint. Yeah and get what's underneath. It's looking look good, man. Leathery. It's looking good. So we're reading a book and in it, it described the most tasty, buttery, syrupy waffles ever. And Michael, like he's reading it and he reads past that sentence and then all of a sudden he's like, I want waffles. <laughs> so he stopped the book while I'm in the middle of a project so that he can make himself some waffles and make me some too because that sounds delicious. They made them sound so good and now I'm making waffles. At uh, 10.30 at night. He just, he couldn't help it. And I am making a brick wall for Harry Potter. Platform nine and three quarters. I think it's turning out pretty good. I'm excited. But I think I'm more excited right about now with, about waffles. How come you don't have any tablespoons in the house? They're always dirty. I always wash them. Well, I wouldn't be a good person if I didn't take my temptation and pass it on to every one of you. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't this look so good? How'd they turn out? 
Good. You like? So yummy. So yummy. So yummy, so yummy, there's a party in my tummy. So yummy, so yummy, there's a party in my tummy. So yummy, so yummy, there's a party. <laughs> okay guys, I think that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching the beach house. I'm gonna enjoy these waffles. Have a good day. Pause the game. Oh sisters, let's go down. Let's go down.